Hi, this is Will, and today I'm going to show you how to make a child theme in WordPress. Now, one of the reasons I've decided to do this is I'm writing a book on WordPress and CSS right now, and I kind of wanted to get what I was writing out on video because that helps me to write it better when I talk and talk it out. So today I'm going to show you how to do it using FTP, File Transfer Protocol. This is where you edit the files on your desktop, on your laptop, what have you, and then you transfer them to your server. Now, if you're not comfortable with FTP, I'll be making another video later, and you might want to go ahead and check and see if it's there. If you're not comfortable with FTP, uh, there's a way to do it with uh, cPanel and their file manager. And if you're not comfortable with that, I can also show you how to do it with a plugin. But right now, let's go over the way to do it with editing your files locally. Now, I'm running a local server here and running the 2016 theme that comes with WordPress. It's just a simple site. Now, I want to make a child theme of 2016. And the reason we want to make child themes is because if we want to change the CSS, we can do that by simply going into the editor of the theme and changing things. But if you do that and then 2016 has an update or with whatever theme you're using as an update, it will wipe out all of your work. Also, you might want to write it to redistribute it as a child theme. So let's go back to the themes here. So I've opened the folder here. These are the local files of that site. And in WP Content, this is the root of your site here, WP Content folder, you'll find the Themes folder. And inside there, the names of all the themes. And the folder name is the theme name. So I'm going to make a new folder. And we'll call it 20... 16 child. Now there are two files that I'm going to make in here. You only need one to make a child theme. And that is the style. This is a required file. The style CSS. And then there's a, just two lines that you have to put in there. And I'm going to go over to where I'm writing my book here. This is all you need to be able to make the child theme. Are those two lines of code that are commented in a CSS file. However, there's more information that is optional. And I'll just copy that into there. And I will put these files on my site, williamclarkson.net. So 2016 child is going to be the name of our theme. And I already had that written in the book. If you want to make a different name, you just you change it here. But that is what is going to appear here. And then you put your name here. Put the name of your site. And right here, the template is the parent, the one that you're copying, the one that you're making a child of. So it has to match this folder name here. That's where WordPress will look for it. And that's the template parameter. Now you can also put here, if you've got the theme on a site somewhere, if, you, if I uploaded this theme to my site, I could put it at WilliamClarkson.net and a folder called 2016 child. That way, if somebody else wanted to download it, the theme would keep a record of where that was. Now, let's go back to our themes here and refresh the page. And 
And here it is over here at the right, 2016 child. And I'll go ahead and activate that. And now it is our active theme. Now let me refresh the page here. And as you see, all the CSS, all the style and formatting has gone away because now it is using this style CSS and we don't have anything in there. Now, that's fine if you want to write all the CSS yourself. That's great. But most of the time when we do a child theme, we want to just write some of the CSS and we want to use most of the CSS from the parent. That's when we need a second file and that's called functions.php. I'm going to go back to the book here and I'm going to grab this code and all this code will be available on the website and I'll just make a like a, a template file where you can just download these two files and edit them however you like. So what this does, it adds an action for enqueue scripts. This is a hook that WordPress sends out. When it says, okay, it's time to load my scripts, you can add something extra to it, and it calls then a function. And this function, my theme enqueue styles. And then we make a tag called parent style. We enqueue that style and it grabs from the template directory. And then it also brings in the child style here. Uh, you could go through it if you want, if you want a more uh, in-depth explanation of what it does, I'm happy to give it. But mostly what you need to know is it brings in the, the parent style. So let's refresh our page now. And there, it is, looks back to normal. So now we can make changes to this without damaging the parent. So like, what if we wanted to change that like this tag here, this uh, just another WordPress site. I can inspect that with Chrome here. And here it is, just another WordPress site. And it's got a class of site description. So I can copy that and put that in the style, then the style CSS uh, file, site description. Now, whatever I put here in site description, such as color red, it will turn that to red. It will affect that site description. There, so it's red. So, but it didn't affect the normal theme. We haven't damaged anything. So if I go back to 2016 and activate that and refresh, there, it's back to black. Now, you may have noticed there is no thumbnail here. So what we can do is take the thumbnail from the parent here. And that's called a screenshot. And I can copy it into here. And then it'll have the same thumbnail. And I can also bring that into an editor. And maybe change it just a bit to let it know it's the child theme. Refresh. There it is with child on it. I'll activate it.
Now the child theme is active. And then we can write, overwrite any of the styles and functions at this point without damaging the parent. And we can also always go back to the parent without any, without any hassle and without any fear of breaking things. Well, I hope this has been useful for you, and I thank you for watching.